more saving, more doing. That's the power of the Home Depot. Hello and welcome to Shep Rambles, where I am Shep and I tend to ramble about what? Anything and everything. And that includes politics, which I absolutely hate because people act stupid when it comes to politics. And money, for that matter. And hey, look, they're both connected in this article. <laughs> Home Depot shoppers threatened to boycott after learning the co-founder gave millions to help elect Trump. Uh, because orange, orange logo, orange man, bad. Really, people? Bernie Marcus gave $7 million to spending groups and PACs, PACs, supporting Donald Trump in 2016 and will also support his re-election campaign. So, helping to make America great again. Why is that such a bad thing? Don't we want to make America great? It's got problems, all right? I mean, we can admit to that, right? We want to make our country better than what it's been. I don't know why people have a problem with that. So, this has become this retired Home Depot co-founder's own do-it-yourself project. Now, that's the key right there. Retired Home Depot co-founder. Okay? He is not currently with Home Depot. He's retired. Okay? So, boycotting Home Depot makes absolutely no sense. It's not like he's running the company. He's retired. He's retired. He It's just him personally uh, doing whatever he wants to do with his money. Okay? Has nothing to do with Home Depot. So, for you people out there who are wah, 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 orange man bad, blah, 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 I'm going to boycott Home Depot. Well, you're stupid. Okay? You're just plain stupid. Acting stupid. Okay? <laughs> This is why I hate politics. It is just a guy who used to be in charge of Home Depot. He's retired. He's on his own. He should be able to do what he wants with his money. Okay? It's simple. Just plain, simple, common sense. That's all it is. And yes, I know, extreme lefts and SJWs have absolutely no common sense. I like, for them to, I like to see them explain this one. Anyway, billionaire Bernie Marcus, Bernie, recently made headlines by sharing that he plans to give 80 to 90% of his wealth uh, to charity when he dies. It's not like he's giving it all to Trump. He's going to give it to charity, too. Okay? Stop acting stupid. Uh, but the former Home Depot, former, former <laughs> Home Depot chairman also revealed uh, that he will be donating to Donald Trump's 2020 re-election campaign as well. I don't know why he needs to donate. It's Trump's got enough money. Uh, indeed, he donated $7 million to help elect Trump in 2016, according to the Center for Responsive Politics. And now some enraged SJWs on social media say they are boycotting the home improvement chain stores. Don't let the ass don't let the ass don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. That's all I gotta say. It which does about hundred and eight billion dollars in annual sales. They claim to be cutting up their Home Depot cards. Sounds like a personal problem. And they say they plan to shop at the competitors like Lowe's and Menards under the hashtag Boycott Home Depot. <laughs> They have also responded to unrelated posts on Home Depot's official Twitter account with comments like, Just say no to Home Depot. And I will rot in the bowels of hell before I get one penny. 
I don't know. All right, so here's some examples here. Uh, who never shop at Home Depot, Steve or Tara? Hey, HDTV, this is another one of your sponsors, and please just go with Lowe's instead of... Kim. Not a carpet, or a washer, or a mousetrap, Home Depot. Not a dime of my money will go directly to re-electing the worst president ever. And then Leanne Kindle. Cutting up my card and never shopping there again. Like I said, don't let the door hit you on the ass on the way out. In response, a Home Depot representative told Market Watch, by the way, this article is from Market Watch, in case you didn't see this up here in the corner. And uh, as always, I put a link uh, to the ad, or the ads. Yeah, there are ads on here uh, to the article <laughs> in the description. Because that's just how I am. You know, just, a lot of YouTubers don't do that. I do. Um, I like to quote my sources. Or. Not quote them, but, you know, recognize them. Anyway. Um, he is not speaking on behalf of the company. In fact, as standard practice, the company does not endorse presidential candidates. See? It's not Home Depot that's supporting Trump. It's the co-founder. Co-founder is doing what he wants with his money. He's not going to speak on behalf of the company because he's no longer with the company. So for those of you who... I'm just not going to shop at Home Depot. I'm just going to cut my card. Blah, 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 blah. But Marcus, who retired at as $231 billion company chairman in 2002, told... The AJC, AJ, yeah, that Trump has got a businessman's common sense approach to most things. He added that the truth is he has produced more than anybody else. He has. If we look at this country, I would say that we are better off today than we were eight years ago or six years ago. He also has some critiques for the commander in chief, however, such as his communication sucks. Thank you. I agree. Okay, I, I agree. Trump has done a lot. It may not be things that you like, but he has done something. He's been doing a lot of stuff. And yes, he does have a business mentality. He's a businessman. So I can see why another businessman would be in support. But Trump's communication does suck. <laughs> That is for true. Now, that That is very true. And I think people would be more accepting of Trump if he wasn't such an ass on Twitter, and mainly Twitter, uh, if he just went in there without the attitude and just got stuff done, I don't think as many people would have a problem with him as there are today. So, uh, for those of you who are not for Trump, I can understand uh, the hatred because of his demeanor. So, I mean, I get that. But anyway, um, is that it? <laughs> That's it. So, if you really think that boycotting is going to make a difference, uh, let's take a look at their stock right now. So, this is a five-year chart, and as you can see, they are going uh, upwards for the most part. This whole section here, okay, the whole market has been doing this, okay? That's not just Home Depot. So everything right now struggled since the end of 2018. It's climbing back up in 2019, but it's hitting this resistance line right up here. Um, it could break through. It could fall down again. Um, that is left to be seen. Uh, it's developing a, at what's called a head and shoulders. So when you got three peaks like this, you got the head here, you have a shoulder here, you have a shoulder here. If it does not break that, then chances are the market's going to fall again. So have to see what happens. But uh, if it does fall, Home Depot will fall. 
And of course, the SJWs will say, see, we're making a difference. Now, the whole market's going to... Home Depot's going to follow whatever the rest of the market is doing for the most part. Why? Because computers run the whole freaking market. Most of it, anyway. So, yeah, I got another video about that somewhere. <laughs> it's, got, it's that whole high-speed trading type of thing where computers do this trading within seconds. Within seconds. And these companies make billions um, of, of dollars off of this high-speed trading. It's, it's crazy. Um, and so if you're just a regular trader, trying to chase the market is, is absolutely insane. The best thing to do with uh, uh, stock is just buy what you like. You know, and uh, if the market falls, don't sell it. Just buy more when, you, when it goes on sale. But that's a whole nother thing. Um, what do you all think about this uh, as far as uh, people... Uh, boycotting Home Depot. Do you agree with it? Do, do you really think that um, <laughs> that uh, boycotting Home Depot is the answer? Or do you think the whole idea is, is just freaking nonsense? I don't know. Let me know in the comments. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. I have a variety of videos on this channel. Uh, as far as this particular series, I do it on a wide variety of topics, and thank goodness it's not all politics. Uh, but I got creative stuff on here, too. I've got gaming stuff on this channel. Uh, one of the things that I do is flight simulator videos. Um, I also got some music videos uh, that I've done. Um, just a whole bunch of stuff. So uh, even if you don't like this article, <laughs> um, or don't like the series for that for that most part i got other things on this channel so i hope you'll check those out you, know, you might find something that you like but anyway thanks for tuning in and i will see you on another rambling video